Hello, Steve here. Hey, I'm excited to let you know that we have the the pan sets for horizontal baking in your loop handle pots. Uh, we have a set for the 14 centimeter loop handle pot and the 16 centimeter loop handle pot. Uh, the 16 centimeter loop handle pot includes the square baking pan, which slides right in and fits perfectly uh, for horizontal baking. And then we also have the bread pan, and this is the same bread pan that I baked a loaf of bread in my loop handle pot. Uh, and they fit perfectly in that in, uh, loop handle pot. Um, let me show you how the 14 centimeter pot size pans work as well. And uh, just for those of you who haven't seen this yet, uh, the loop handle pots I have here are equipped with the spring handle clips. Uh, that's an item that we offer here at fireboxstove.com. Um, but what they do is they allow you to use your pot horizontally to bake and they hold your lid closed. So you actually use your handle as kind of an oven door lock. So that allows you to release your oven door and then you can put it back on and replace it like that uh, and that just allows you to uh, gain access to your oven but let me show you how the pans fit in the 14 centimeter loop handle pot now this is a 5x5 five five pan now both of these square pans I have cut down uh, so they're not as tall as they were uh, from the manufacturer and they don't have a rolled a rolled edge you know they're just cut off and then I've cleaned up these edges a little bit and made it as nice as I could uh, but you can see that that's just a beautiful fit in that 14 centimeter pot um, and then for the bread pan it actually needs to be raised up a little bit if you just put this on the bottom number one you wouldn't have any room for any rocks to provide that thermal mass to regulate your temperature um, and so if you put it down there on the bottom you'd probably burn the bottom of your bread anyway uh, but in order for it to fit it needs to be raised up a little bit now I just use our grill plate from my firebox stove kit and that raises it up to the perfect height to where the the oven door or the pot lid will actually fit on there you know really nicely but if you don't have that raised up then, um, then the lid doesn't actually fit. So in order for everything to line up properly, you need to see that just doesn't even fit there. So you need to raise that up a little bit with some type of rack um, in order to get that to fit properly. So those are the new pans now available on fireboxstove.com the smaller set and the larger set um, both sets come in a kit which include the Ollie Camp pot grabber so that you can get your cooked baked goods out of your oven and then also the small stainless steel tongs which allow you to hold on to your pot lid um, which is great for opening and closing and handling your pot lid when it is hot um, and just real quick while I have this here I just wanted to maybe do a little close-up of this setup because I've had people ask me you know could you do a close-up of that because I'd really like to see exactly how you have that set up um, so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here and we'll see oh I'm already zoomed in no there we go okay so there you can see which holes uh, those go through and then they cross and then there is the slot that's the furthest out um, that the ends of the fire sticks go through now these are actually going through the ob oblong hole that's the furthest on the outside but the very top row um, so those just slide through and, and fit through there very nicely I'm going to go ahead and cut to some of my reveal moments as I've pulled out some of my uh, cakes and breads and cookies and so you can get an idea of the success that I've had 
using this baking system uh, out in the bush camping with my family and uh, you know just having fun with that so thank you all for watching this is all available at fireboxstove.com take care bye bye how these turn out this pan is just a little bit tight it's just giving me a little bit of trouble we gotta let them cool just a little bit before we eat them Good thing you're videoing. Oh yeah, they're done. Then did you done done? Yep, they're done. Cool. It looks like perfection. Okay, Cookie there. time. Let's let them cool a little bit. Okay, I think my oven is preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my oven door and slide my pan. In. Now I hope this isn't just way too full because if it is, I'm going to have the hugest mess ever going on here. But I'm going to go ahead and put that on. That's too hot to hold. Which is a sign that I've got plenty of heat going on in here. Go ahead and close my oven it's door. It's been 40 minutes. Um, it calls for 40 to 45 minutes, so let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to open it carefully. It's looking good. And it's looking a little brown, but not necessarily burnt on the edges next to the pan. And I just, I don't know if I dare poke it because I'm afraid I'm going to cause it to sink. But I guess I'll just go ahead and do it. I think it's done. Really? Yeah, I think it's done. I'm going to go ahead and take it out and we'll let it rest for 10 minutes and we'll cut it. Yep, it's all done. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Dad, video me eating it. What? Video me eating it. You should video you pulling it out. I will video you eating it. Like the reveal. like pull. Uh, this is the reveal. Are you videoing? Uh-huh. Ooh, it's a little brown on top. But just enough to be caramelized. Okay, we decided to cook some hot dogs while we were waiting for that crumble cake to cool. But I'm going to go ahead and try cutting some and just see what it's like. So let's just kind of cut this and I'll try to get a square of it out so we can get an idea of how brown it is and how done it is and all those kinds of things. Let's just try to... Tuck a square out of here. Oh, it's kind of coming out in pieces because it is crumb cake. So it has that other layer. It has that other layer of crumb. It looks great. So it looks really nice. Let's try to get this other layer out. Well, it's not burned at all. It's not coming out in one chunk, but it looks really nice, and it looks done. It does such a nice job of cooking it evenly. I would think it would be like real burnt on the bottom or something. No, oh. this is really pretty even. It's not not too dark down below, and uh, and it's done all the way through. So I'm really happy with that. Let's see if I can get this out in a in something that kind of looks like a piece. Oh, look at that. That turned out great. Look at that. Oh, I'm just going to take a bite of that. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That turned out great. I'm really happy with that. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so just one last check on how this uh, rise operation is coming along. And it's almost to the top of the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and add the hot coals on the top of this. And let's just go ahead and get it up to baking temperature. And then let's just look in here. Okay, so it's risen quite a bit more. That really looks nice. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit on this and make sure that it starts cooking 
you know, fairly fast now. Close our oven door. Oh, there's my timer going off. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what we've got. Wow, it's golden brown. Oh my gosh. All right, let's take a look at this here. Oh wow, that's beautiful. It's a nice dark brown on top and it's golden brown on the sides. And I think it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and use my pot grabber on here. So that way I have a secure hold of it. Look at that. I baked bread out in the sagebrush. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna see if I can get this to come out. Oh. Okay, the crust looks a little darker than the top. So I had a little more heat on the bottom than I did on the top. But it's not burnt. It's pretty dark brown there on the bottom. So maybe a full flame, maybe intermittent flame will be the way to go. I'm going to let this rest here for a second. I'm going to come back and cut it and put some butter on it and try it out. I can't wait. Okay, let's go ahead and cut it. I'm just going to cut a nice thick piece. I brought out my bread knife because I knew it would be soft. Oh, and it is definitely done. I probably let it go a little longer than I should have. Oh, but it's sure going to be good. It's definitely not doughy, and I guess I would rather have it be a little... It's not going to be dry because I'm eating it fresh like this. But, uh... Man, that feels so nice, a warm bread in my hand. Let's see. And it's got a really nice crust all the way around it. And I'm hoping that the bottom isn't dark enough to be bitter. I'm hoping it's just dark enough to make it taste even better. A little bit of jam. Oh, yeah, it's super crusty. Can you see that? I can't see my screen. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's fun stuff. I can't wait to do this for the family. <laughs> wow, that's good. Cool. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, check out my website, fireboxstove.com. You know, everything you've seen here is available there. Um, you know, even the stainless steel tongs, the firebox stove, the zebra pots. Uh, and these zebra pots are improved with our zebra pot clips that allow this to, to happen. And uh, a lot of other stuff, you know, for camping and backpacking, bushcraft. Check it out, fireboxstove.com. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Hello, hon? Hey, are you still at home? Oh, good. I'm going to bring you a piece of hot bread. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it turned out awesome. You're going to love it. I'm going to hurry it down before it cools down. Love you. Bye.